Okay, so uh, let me show you what's in my succulent garden. There's uh, Susie catching a little bit of sun. Um, these, none of these were purchased. All of these have been sort of propagated over the years. Um, and I kept them in pots for quite a long time. Uh, but there are Sempervivums. I don't know all the names. I do need to, to catch up a little bit. There are tiny, tiny little plants in here. Some of them still struggling to find their way. Um, but it looks like they're all going to make it. And then uh, I've put in quite a lot of uh, prickly things. Um, mainly to sort of go with almost sort of the, the desert theme. And then there are various things that I've collected over the years. Uh, some of these cacti and aloes. I mean, this aloe I picked up on a hike. Sorry, I zoomed it. Shaking a bit. I picked up on a hike many years ago. It was just a couple of fire burnt leaves with uh, a little green core. And amazingly, it, it survived. So I'm going to have to get down to ground level to give you a really good view of this but if you've seen my other videos you can see how one side of the garden is pretty tropical and lush and then the other side of the garden um, it's actually got a lovely collection of desert plants so uh, this is all pretty much bare soil so we've put on a bit of garden refuse, taken it up again. I don't want to mulch too much because with these little plants, if they get lost under the mulch, they, they don't recover too easily. Um, but you can see how nicely they're getting on. Uh, some of them have got pretty hectic thorns. You can see this one. Look how happy that one is with all its babies. So I think I might wait another year and then I'll take those babies and then scatter them through just to fill up a little bit more. And then we've got, I think this is a South American cactus. I do need to get up to speed. And then at the back, uh, a couple more succulents. We've put in a... Uh, I think this is a pelargonium. I also said to check, I think the geraniums have got less leaves on the petals. And then we've put some roses in the back. And then let me just step back so that you can get the full impact of how very big these trees in the garden are. There's a ginkgo biloba that's been growing for about 20 years. But there you can get the full impact. Those are yuccas up there. I don't know if you can see that they're in flower. And in the huge palms. There's a maple outside. A bottle brush. And that creates quite a nice sort of afternoon shade to enjoy.